Hi guys, and welcome to the first episode of Product Play. I think I'm gonna call it, I'm not sure yet. But I'm basically just gonna sit down and play with some products that I've never tried before and just let you know what I think of them. And I think in the future I'm gonna do these as talk through, kind of get ready with me style videos. So they're nice and laid back, but I tried to do that for this one and I just could not get past the intro without my stammer going crazy. So I gave up, but anyway, these are the products that I'll be playing around with today. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about any of the things you can see on screen right now or just seeing how I create at this look then keep on watching so starting with primer this is the city cosmetics primer i showed in my base routine video but i'll just recap it's a thick and goopy formula um so if you don't like that kind of thing you probably want to avoid it but it does what i want it to do i use primer to fill in fine lines and just create a smooth base to work on I decided to try out a new foundation and concealer today because I got a goodie bag from NARS last week and I've been dying to try everything that's in it. Um, and I've wanted to try this foundation and concealer for ages, but I can never justify buying new products when I already have products that I love and I don't have any problems with. But that being said, I think I will keep on using these products during the summer because they're a lot more lightweight than my usual stuff. So it's nicer to wear while the weather is warmer, to be honest. So let me talk about this crazy looking brush. My friend Marcia brought this back from her trip to South Korea and it was so interesting to me so I had to try it. It has this brush and then you can swap it out for a sponge. So you apply with the brush and then you smooth it with the sponge which is generally what you would do when you apply foundation anyway. So it's great that it's in one handy little package and it was pretty nice, I like it. I don't really use brushes for applying my foundation anymore but I love the novelty of this and I've just been using it since filming in this video anyway because uh, my brushes are all dirty and my sponges need replacing because they're all disgusting and I dropped my uh, Real Techniques beauty blender type thing in the fireplace so I really need to buy a new one of those. The concealer is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I can't remember what the shade is but I will definitely write it down below. I've been moving my office around into a different room in my house so all my makeup is just in boxes right now or I would absolutely just go find it and tell you but I have no idea where it is. The way I would explain this product is the coverage, imagine the coverage of MAC Pro Longwear but half the thickness and half the creasing. If you have fine lines underneath your eyes, you will understand what I mean when I say that you will always have creasing. Even with products like MAC Pro Longwear, which have that magical kind of technology to stop the creasing, it will always crease. But since this product isn't super thick like the Pro Longwear, it's not as obvious when it does crease. I've worn this product a bunch of times since this video and it's now a new favourite of mine without a doubt and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. So then I go in straight away and I set with my NYC translucent powder which I've talked about a thousand times. I love it, makes your skin look as smooth as a baby's butt and it's the best setting powder I've ever used. So here's the skin up close and personal so you can see how it looks and it pretty much stayed like this all day. It didn't move around, it didn't break up on the nose or anything. Um, it creased slightly on my forehead and in my smile lines but that's absolutely to be expected because uh, I raise my eyebrows a lot and obviously I smile and speak a lot so... The bronzer I used is NARS Laguna Bronzer and I love how big this product is. Like if you use this as a bronzer with a big bronzing powder brush then this is an awesome product size. And I liked it but I knew it would be a little bit too dark for me but I tried it anyway. The product itself is lovely but like I said it's a tad too dark but I'm going to dull it down a little bit later on with a translucent powder and I think by the end of the look it kind of worked out um, but now it just looks kind of intense. The contour shade I used today was also a new product to me that I've been wanting to try for a while and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in the shade Fawn. And I think this would have been a lot more flattering on me if I hadn't applied a butt ton of bronzer beforehand. So I'm definitely going to try this out another time before I give my uh, review and my thoughts. It seems nice though, it applied and blended nicely and it has that nice kind of taupey colour to it which is always nice for a contour shade. 
So next, I dulled all of that down a little bit with the NYC translucent powder. So moving on, the blush and highlight I used were from this NARS uh, Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Frenzy. And I never change blush shades, so this was kind of weird for me, but I think I liked how it turned out, although it was very different. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous this product is? I just did, I didn't want to use it and ruin the emboss in the product because it just, it's too pretty. It almost killed me to do it. So moving on to the eyes, I first primed with my usual Avon primer and then I finally got round to trying out some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I first went in with Frappe on a Sigma E38, roughly through this socket. And as you can see, there is a really good amount of colour payoff, even though I'm using a fluffy brush and I hadn't even picked up a lot of products. Next, I took Vanilla Bean as kind of my nothing shade over the edges to help blend them out. Um, to get that kind of seamless blend and then on the lid I decided to go in with the shade Mango Tango which is a nice kind of orangey peachy kind of shade with uh, there's some gold reflex in there so it's very summery to me every time I do a summer look I always do these colors every time without fail as always with shades like this I always expect them to be a lot lighter than they are but then I apply them on myself and I'm like wow that is intense that is so so orange, what have I done? But it's really nice by the end of it, it really works out, so just bear with it. Next, I took that highlight shade from the blush duo around the inner corners, and then to brighten that lid ever so slightly, I added some of that highlight shade right in the center as well. Moving on to liner, whenever I wear orangey eyeshadows, I always seem to want to wear brown liner. So today I used the Tarte Clay Pot Liner in brown and I love these liners so much. I've used um, the purple one, uh, what is it called, Black and Plum on this channel before and they are just phenomenal. I feel like they're really underrated as well. I haven't really seen anyone speak about them, but people should be talking about them because these are crazy good. They are so pigmented, they do not budge or transfer and you don't have to set them. They are awesome products. Also a little shout out to this brush, it's also by Tarte and it's double ended. One end is completely useless to me because I cannot use the angled side, but the straight side, I'm all about that. The bristles aren't too soft, which is an issue I have with a lot of liner brushes. Uh, I find a lot of liner brushes to be very flimsy, but these ones are just right. I really do like this brush. I wish I had a brown mascara and lashes for this look, but I don't, so I just went in with my regular Ico Black Magic Mascara, and then I'll apply the lashes later on. So for the eyebrows, I tried out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and I applied it in little strokes, so it simulated brow hairs, because I got the feeling that this product would create some seriously intense looking brows if I just went all in with it. So, and that really wasn't what I wanted to do. So I kept it quite natural looking by doing little short strokes instead. Moving on to underneath the eye, I first took Frappe again, all the way underneath, and then because I feel like light warm tones underneath my eye kind of makes them look a bit sore, I decided to deepen up that colour a bit with a tiny bit of mocha. Next, I lined the waterline with a cream liner because my eyes are pretty red and hair fevery at the moment, so this uh, should get rid of some of that redness. Moving on to lashes, these are the EXO Beauty Lashes in the style The Heiress, and I love these. In case you don't know, this is Shan Xo's uh, brand from here on YouTube, and some of her lashes are some of my all-time favourite styles. I will list a couple of the ones I really like below as well. 
Finally, moving on to the lips, I first applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Conditioner and honestly, my lips are chapped as balls all the time, so I have no idea if this made a difference or not. So there's my feedback on that product. Um, and then I applied Retro Coral Lipstick, uh, the liquid lipstick, before applying Maui Lip Gloss over the top. And I've spoken about these products before, but I absolutely love Anastasia Beverly Hills lip products. They are so good. The liquid lipsticks are some of the best lip products I have ever used. And I don't really feel like I've worn any of the lipsticks since I got these. And I bought most of these myself. I was so pumped. I literally bought like 14 of them on the release day. I so impressed by them. The glosses are super pigmented and absolutely do not need a base underneath in terms of colour but I find that some of the darker shades uh, bleed out slightly on me so I've started wearing them with a base or a lip liner just in case just to try to avoid that. But then that's it. God damn that was a long one. My mouth is so dry I feel like I've been talking forever. As always everything will be listed below along with all the products mentioned in this video and thank you guys for watching.